The Hudson streak is simply known to me as the 72 game winning streak from 1968 ending in 1975, one of the greatest moments in the history of Hudson football, but not just Hudson, Lenawee County, the state of Michigan. Uh, it's still the state record, 72 games, but at the time it was the national record and it was huge. It was unbelievable. It was like a, it was like a huge party. The, the highway was full of cars parked because there, were, there was no more parking anywhere. Um, just so much excitement that um, people love to relive and talk about with their friends. I played in 75, 1975-1976 football season. You had huge crowds because of the win streak. Uh, people from other towns coming to watch your games just because of the win streak. And, and so it added a lot of pressure, but it was uh, you couldn't ask for any more as a high school kid. Um, everybody that was at the game went back downtown. The bus. Um, came with the players on board and the players got off the bus. Um, we were down, right down on the main four corners and everybody was cheering, um, just having a, a great time congratulating the players. It was just unbelievably awesome. All the big newspapers were there to cover us and so you know it was a lot of excitement not just only on Friday nights but even during the school day you didn't know who you might see in the hallways that was a you know a popular figure. We got we got inducted to the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame so we got to go to Detroit to uh, Cobble Hall and uh, so in there in the Sports Hall of Fame are people like Gordy Howe. Uh, Dave Bing, Bob Lanier, Alex Karras. All these people, as we were kids, we worshiped those guys. They were all superstars. Bill Freehand, Al Kaline, all these great Tigers. We're all in the same room and we're being inducted into the same group as those guys, which didn't seem right. Everybody cared. Everybody wanted us to win. They expected us to win. Then there were a few people that wanted to see us lose, of course, the other teams. But the winning streak was special because it encompassed eight years, eight different teams, the entire town, the community, the school, everybody was in on it. The teachers, everybody supported the, the football program. My title was head football coach at Hudson through the win streak of 72 straight wins. After we broke the Michigan state record of 44 wins, which was held by the, 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 the Marinci down the road, we went on to take on the national record. We knew what it was. I think that uh, Coach Saylor preached uh, that you, you work hard in practice and prepare for those games and, and do everything right, the little things especially, and, and that's something I try to promote to our kids today. It's like Saylor told us, he said, if you do it right, if we play right and you do what we taught you, we'll win, and he was right. We took them one game at a time and we played our hearts out because we have the greatest tradition maybe in high school football. I mean, Hudson goes back to after World War I when they rode trains to play football and had to play colleges because nobody would play them. Uh, it was uh, one of those things that you know, a high school kid would dream about happening and, and we got to experience it. It was great. Um, a lot of memories. Um, people love to talk about it again. Um, the fun that they had, and just reliving some of the times that they remember, um, whether it was the team, of course, um, the fans that were here at the football field. It's been a lot of pride. A lot of people stayed in the community, and, and whether it was through the school or jobs or whatever, but it, it always, it's a bonding thing that some of us still, we don't live it, but. When, all, when us guys get together, we still talk about different things, perhaps more in practice than the games, because it was rough. <laughs> the fans were there. The tradition was there. The material was there. It was my job not to screw it up. It was one of the funnest times uh, in my life as far as an athlete. Quitters never win. I have said that many times when I felt like giving up, running my own business of bad days, but you just think nobody, and then you just stop. You'll never win if you quit. That's the number one thing that I've always took away from what Sailor Drill did to us was quitters will never win.